Hi everyone, in this short video, I'm going to talk about one of the features that we have in Microsoft Flow uh, or uh, Power Automate and uh, uh, inside AI Builder uh, that help you to do sentiment analysis on your file. In a short example, I'm going to show you how you can import a data set, uh, import the data into the OneDrive and then apply the sentiment and keyword analysis on the data. And after that, you can have and pass the data to any other application from Power BI, from SQL, from Excel, or written back into the OneDrive. So uh, to start, you need to create your flow. Uh, so first of all, you need to log into your Microsoft flow. So uh, it should be uh, AI Builder should be activated there. Uh, after that, you need to go to create a new solution because most of the AI Builder features has been created inside CDS. And to access that, you need to create one into the solution. I'm already created one with the name of AI Builder. I'm going there and under that, I'm going to create a new flow. So I'm going to create a new uh, follow to actually to uh, get the data uh, I'm going to create a new file inside OneDrive so I search for OneDrive uh, I'm using the OneDrive for business and the trigger is that when a file is created uh, this is my OneDrive here so as you see that's a file here and I have an AI folder over here. Uh, in this part, I need to specify the location. So I'm going to be on the root under the AI folder. So this is the root and they ask me about the content type. Yes, it has a content type. So this is just a trigger. In the next step, I'm going to call a, one of the features, one of the components that we have in common data service named predict. So most of the prediction again in Microsoft Flow, if you want to access whether you create yourself inside Power Apps, uh, like object detection and the other, or the one that is already there, like uh, sentiment analytics and the other, then you need to use predict here so i use predict now inside the model i'm able to choose the model that i want so as you see there are a bunch of them these are the models that i'm create but the model that's already embedded there is actually key phrase extraction model this is the one that already exists the other one is sentiment analysis model i use that one and here i need to write a code over here so i'm going to set i want to extract a text that the text coming uh, actually uh, from the file that i have so it's a file content from here and also the language for this scenario is english so this is a actually code that i need to write here so here we actually we create that one in the next step uh, i'm going so up, apply on data next we need to parse the result so i use the parse json because the result of that should be a json but before doing that i just want to save it and we can try to see that what sort of result we can get so i'm going to test it because the first time uh, I need to trigger that one, I'm going to upload a new file here. So I'm going to upload the uh, one of the file recommendation here, and I'm going to test it. So the file is here, and we see that what we get for the result. It's take a minute to actually to run, and you see that there is no error. And we can see the output. So yes, output is in JSON. So we need the JSON. And you can see the response. I'm just going to copy the response and put it into the OneNote. So we can, uh, sorry, to the uh, Microsoft Word. So we can see the response properly. Uh, 
so here if i paste it here you will see that it's actually extract the sentiment is a mix it has, so it's kind of works and apply the sentiment to see it better i'm going to use uh, back to the edit mode and i'm going to add the parse mode so uh, for the parser we need to have a uh, actually we need to have a uh, format for that so i'm back to the run that we have already and i'm going to copy the output of the json as a sample so i'm back here i'm copy the code here go to the edit and create a parser json parse json actually so I'll just wait parse json so it's get the input from response plan play road. here we are going to generate a new schema so i'm click on that i just simply copy that one and it generate the, actually the schema for me so now i'm able to actually do the test again uh, this time because it's not the first time i'm able to run it from previous test and i'm going to see what will be happen okay so it's done now we can go and see the output. So this is the output from JSON. I'm just going to copy and replace it with what we have here. So as you see here, this gives me the result as a JSON. The first output is sentiment. So this is the general output for the sentence. Let's look at the what we have here. I'm just going to copy the uh, sentence that we have in the hotel one and i put it here so we can discuss that one so this is a sentence about hotel so the first tag that is mix is for whole of the sentence so in general the negativity of the sentence is 15 percent the positivity the being positive is 25 and in general it is a neutral response so the comment was the suite was awesome we didn't have much interaction with a staff we did a sleep on queen size bed in living room instead of the queen size bed in actual due to temperature it was very hot and humid the condition in the living room doesn't cool off the bedroom this suite is very close to shopping and dining after each day of the adventure we would walk to dinner at different joints i will stay here again when i return so these are the actually the general of that so the generally kind of we can call it is a neutral close to positive but also we can analyze each sentence by by one so the first sentence is this one so the suite was awesome we didn't have so this is the first one so the first sentence is positive and with 99 percent the second sentence is actually says we didn't have much interaction with uh, actually staff it's not a nor negative nor positive one so as you see we get a neutral tag for that the second one says we did sleep on the queen sofa bed in the living room instead of queen size due to the temperature so this one is kind of again uh, more uh, kind of neutral but you see that in the second place is also negative point is a bit higher so you can see that for the each sentence we have a specific one that is actually uh, analyzing so most of the time we can says the last sentence uh, should be the kind of the uh, main point of the people that actually how they actually doing that and we can say this is neutral to positive the last one that we have so this is a result so uh, also you can back here so this is for the sentiment analysis you can use this output uh, to pass it to the other ones and extract the information so for example to extract the information you can easily use some codes like this uh, the one that you write here to uh, pass the information so this can be uh, one of the way to extract information and pass it to the power bi and the other tools that i will show you later in the next videos and uh, now imagine that at the same time we want to do the 
keyword extraction so i'm going to actually click here i'm going to add a parallel process so actually here so i'm going to add a parallel process using again predict here and uh, this is uh, actually uh, oh, let me back and search for predict <clears throat> and here um is action is a predict and i'm search for keyword key phrase extraction model and i'm using the same one so here i'm going to set that's a text um and this text coming from the file content and uh, that's a language is english so these are the actually the input and again uh, the same as the previous one i can uh, extract the initial json code for that so i'm just running to get the uh, json code for the second predict so when it's done again same as the previous one i'm going to copy the json code inside the output copy and then going to the edit mode and add the new action as a parallel and i call it as a kind of searching for parse json and uh oh sorry mix one to just select that one that is the parse json so search for that one this is parse json and <clears throat> same as the previous one the response body we are going to generate for that one they may have different one so as you see that again you can see the phrase here and just that so i'm going to change it the name to the sentiment and keyword flow maybe later on i can use it in other applications and i save it moreover i can change the name of the each of these predictions so you can easily uh kind of after saving just wait it save you can um kind of change the name right click here and you're able to kind of rename it so i said that this is for keyword extraction extraction and this one is again uh, i rename it to uh, sentiment analysis sentiment analysis and you can easily again test it with the same data set that we have and uh, kind of <clears throat> used the previous one and uh, you can make it uh, kind of available uh, to the other uh, applications process so let's just see so these are the output again i'm just going to copy and uh, at the end of here i'm going to paste it so <clears throat> as you see here uh, these are the sentiment after that we have the output so these are the phrase living room queen size bed these are the phrase that is actually get from the sentence that we have in the customer here so uh, as you see here that is uh, this can be uh, done with other application you can send the result back to any other applications and use it in next videos hopefully i very soon i will show you that how you can create a simple application through that or inside the flow for example you want to pass it to the other applications and see the result thanks so much for watching this video and um, i hope that you enjoy it